Dryer Repair Overview Dryer brands can be very confusing to the homeowner or even the technician because different names on the front don't necessarily indicate the manufacturer behind the scenes. There are three primary manufacturers of dryers, both gas and electric. First is GE, shown here. You notice this great big drum and there's a belt that goes all the way around the drum. Another great big manufacturer is Whirlpool here. This is the older design shown, which is still being manufactured. They have two designs, the wide 29-inch wide one and the 27-inch. Both are covered in specific videos. And the third big manufacturer over here is a Maytag. They have, Maytag has a primary design and two variations on that tune, which are covered in specific videos. This video is designed to acquaint you with the common aspects of all these dryers, which are first, this belt around the drum concept, and a removable drum that sits on a bearing in the front and a bearing in the back. The cabinets come apart differently. Uh, the drum may come out the top instead of the front, but still, the basic concept is the same. They all have a long belt that threads through a tensioning device, as you can see here, with a spring-loaded idler pulley. Here's another one. This is a Whirlpool, very familiar tensioning spring, and the belt that goes all the way around and then goes up around the drum. This saves on bearings and all kinds of support devices. It's actually a pretty slick way to save money. This happens to be a Maytag manufactured brand with the a, a design with the brand name Admiral on the front. But it shows the basic components that all dryers have. Here are the rollers that support the basket, the felt that seals the air from the basket to the back baffle piece, the drive motor with the fan in the front, and the drive pulley in the back. This one happens to be broken off. Here's the tensioner idler pulley and the belt that goes all the way around the drum. And here is a gas valve system that blows hot air into the uh, air system here, being sucked by this blower across the clothes. Could be electric, in this case it's gas, but the logic is still pretty much the same. Here's a roller being removed. These rollers make a lot of racket, wear out, and rattle and shake on all brands. The uh, rear part of the basket is always supported with rollers. Not always, uh, but some sort of support, often rollers. This is a sample of a Whirlpool heating element. Uh, they can come in different shapes and sizes, but it's a 220 volt element that radiates, uh, heats up the air that's getting sucked across it. Each brand, each model has its own shape and size of electric heating element. Another very common element, uh, component in uh, gas and electric dryers is a thermal fuse that uh, blows for any overheating reasons, such as clogged air duct, uh, poor air seals, uh, open door, bad door switch, to keep the dryer from overheating. Here's a gas valve system. Here's a, here are the coils. This is the flame tube that the gas flows down. Um, all the gas valves systems are the same, so we will we have a specific video just on that. Here's a drive motor sample with the blower at this end, the pulley at this end, and the tensioning device. Uh, this is pretty much what they look like, filthy dirty, full of lint and fuzz, and they may come out in slightly different ways, but uh, the theory is all the same. 
in my uh, service manual on dryers, we talk about airflow and the general concepts of how the air comes in and out of the dryer basket and flips the clothes. Most common complaint of all dryer repairs is long drying, and here's a reason. Uh, clogged up ductwork somewhere after the air exits the dryer, there'll be an animal, a bird, um, something in the dryer system. So there you have a, a little bit of an overview of the components that are common to all dryers. And for uh, specific information for your brand and how it opens up and what the components look like, see my other videos. For more information, go to UncleHarry.com and see over 200 repair videos. And also, find out how you can start your own appliance repair business.